below my lungs. Happy Sunday. Happy what is called Easter, the day of fertility, day of celebration of the light. And in meditation today, I was, of course, with the day, saying, inviting in the understanding of fertility, the understanding of what that essence gives to us, what fertility means, and how, how we work with it as we come to the light, as we come to welcome the light of spring. And it's, it's a beautiful correlation, I feel, between how the Christian faith offers the understanding to the earth-based traditions, offering the understanding of what this time of year means. And it is the light coming back simultaneously as the perennial plants are coming out of the ground showing the fertility of the earth that we stand on, what the light brings to our hearts, which is openness, which is growth, which is beauty, understanding, and excitement for a new day, excitement for a future, excitement for what is coming in, what will be grown, what will be harvested, what seeds of newness are being put into the ground, into our minds, into our hearts. And this correlation between the two ideas of religion being really, to me, the same. Because we are nourishing through the earth, through our faith, through the presence of Creator, Source, the guides, the ancestors, all of it is nourishing our hearts to be open to understanding how we feed fertility within ourselves, within our communities, within the earth. And by nourishing those things, we are adding to the abundance of nature, the abundance of nature that provides to us food, shelter, water, warmth, all of the essentials of life, clothing, all of the essentials of life are provided for by a fertile earth. And as we awaken out of our deep slumber of winter, when we are resting and rejuvenating and nourishing that, um, that stillness within ourselves, now is the time to bring those seeds to full fruition the seeds that we planted in the winter, in the fall, the seeds that were churning our minds into realizing newness, into realizing what do I have to add to the collective fertility, to what, what is needed for a fertile future, right? And I think, I feel a lot of what we are experiencing right now is encouraging us to look at how we are nurturing our Earth's ability to be fertile, how maybe on a bigger scale we are hindering that ability to be fertile, and what can we do about that? Because while getting back to a certain state of normalcy where we can see our family and our friends in close proximity, where we can work together again. That is incredibly important because human beings, we need each other so that our communities can thrive, so that our communities can nourish the fertility aspect of our direct bioregions that feed us, that keep us warm, that keep us safe, that keep us healthy to keep our microbiome and our guts diverse, right? All of that comes from community and direct community. And how 
this time of fertility, this time of the light coming back to our awareness, shines truth upon our actions, upon how we are or are not or are not moving forward, how the obsession that is coming from what used to be, how we want to get back to what used to be, the key piece of that to me is back. We're focusing on behind us, where if we shifted into the fertility, the awareness, the coming of this growing season right now, we're moving forward. We're moving into newness. The earth does it every single calendar year, every rotation around the sun that provides the light for us. Every rotation around the sun brings a rebirth time. And we are in that time right now. Right now we are rebirthing. And I find it really beautiful that we are in Aries season during this time and that we have an Aries full new moon coming up. That new moon time being a place each month that we are able to go into a darkness. It's a dark phase of the night, right? A dark phase of our dream time. And with Aries, Aries is all about our mark on the world, our passion, saying, I am here. And I am here to do this thing, proclaiming it, right? And what I find an interesting correlation between that essence, what we have been going through over the past year and much longer, truthfully, and the matching up of the day of Easter, the day of fertility, the day of welcoming the light back into our lives. All of this is what am I adding? What, I, what am I giving to creation, to nourishment, to the fertility of my community, to the fertility of awareness of how am I leaving my mark on this planet under Aries? How am I showing the world who I am? What am I giving to my community? How is that nourishing the collective? How is that nourishing the earth that we call our home? How are we and our daily lives acting to bring fertility to the soil? And under this Aries new moon, we have a darkness opportunity with this light coming back. And that darkness opportunity saying, Take some time to meditate upon that, to journal upon that, to fully, fully grasp how we are offering our creative ability as humans to the fertility of this time that we are all living through collectively. So I want to encourage us all to say thank you to the light being here, thank you to the earth. Thank you to our communities, thank you to our farmers, our doctors, our healthcare workers, all of the, the, the teachers, the people who are nourishing our fertility, and um, also wonder how these systems are not nourishing our fertility, how they are keeping us backwards instead of moving forward how our farmscapes need to shift to offer full fertility to the soil and to the earth and to the community. How our medica medicine system could shift to offer the same things. How we as individual people are offering fertility to our collective communities, to the earth, to each other. So I wish you all a beautiful day wherever you are and I wish you all the awareness of your fertility, your creation, your abundance in this regard as a human being on this planet. I'm sending you so much love, I'm sending you so much support, 
of realizing these essences of being human on this earth. Happy Easter, happy fertility day, happy day of the bunnies and the egg, and what that truly means deep down in our souls. And I thank you for being here with me. Blessings to you all.